Budweiser right on his heels. Jim Krapfeld, the driver, the Squire Shop, and Tommy DeEath out of Detroit, Michigan. American Speedy Printing, Jack Schaefer, Jr. The Specialty Leasing out of Los Angeles, California, Ron Armstrong, the driver, and the Miss Renault, Milner Irvin. That sun is going to play havoc now with our boats because they are, the sun is setting down the west and we're looking almost into a westerly, about a southwesterly sun. And we'll have to watch very carefully. We can see that uh, weird water intake throws up that special kind of side rooster tail off the skid fin of the Atlas, so we'll have to watch that. It looks like Atlas Van Lines wants lane one. Lane two looks like it will be the Miss Budweiser, followed by the American Speedy Printing, the Specialty, and the Squire Shop, and the Speedy Printing. As they come down right now, there's our final field heading for the starting gun. It looks like it's going to be the Atlas Van Lines, also the Specialty, and the Squire Shop. They come across that line and dive down the corner number one. Whoa, Ron Armstrong is flying. Tommy Deeth and the Squire Shops on the outside, Jim, as they go down there. What a surprise. Armstrong and, and Deeth leading him into that turn. But here comes Mr. Hanauer out in the lead with Krapfeld on his hip. It's going to be Chip Hanauer coming off of corner number two down the back chute right now. The hills of San Diego, California in the background as the sun slowly sets in the west. This is our leader flying just a little bit. He's loose on that front end, Sam. But he's got about a four and a half second, maybe a four second lead over the second place Budweiser at this point as they go down the corner number three in the pit area. And Jim, as he dives in there, I don't know where this horsepower is coming from in the Atlas right now because he left everybody sitting still back up in that other turn. Hanauer, you see, takes the Atlas through there. Crop fell to Miss Budweiser. A good six or seven seconds behind as they go through there. Here comes our leader, Hanauer, bringing it around the turn and headed down. There you see the Miss Budweiser back behind him there. That's about a five-second lead for Hanauer. And the Atlas bat line, see, brings it across the line here to complete lap number one. There's our leader with five, making four more laps to go as he goes down the corner number one again. Bottom by the Budweiser. Whoa! the square shop went way up in the air. Tommy D lost sight of that water from that front cockpit, I am sure. So it stands as the Atlas Van Lines, the Budweiser Square, the American Speedy Printing, the Specialty, and also the Renault. And as Hanauer brings it down there, Jim, he set a new course record for competition on that first lap. 133.73 miles an hour for Hanauer and the Atlas Van Lines, as you're seeing them going behind the island here on this beautiful two-and-a-half-mile Mission Bay course. The old record was set in 1981 by Dean Chenoweth and the Miss Budweiser, his speed 132.531. Hanauer, a new course record here, leaving everyone in his wake. Here's Kropfeld, the Budweiser. He's heading into that turn as Hanauer brings it out of there. But Jim Kropfeld, you know, Jim's got to be trying to keep it alive because the national championship race has got very tight. Hanauer has gained some ground here this afternoon. Here comes the Atlas Van Lines, and he'll complete lap number two with three more laps to go. And if he can keep it going in the engine housing and stay ahead of the Budweiser, he will have gained within 169 points the national championship with one more race to go. If he can hold this position, he's gained 600 points chasing the leader, Sam. Yes, he has. Had our speed on that lap, 130.814. He's cooled it off a mile an hour or so, but he's still out in front. He brings it down now. He's going to put a lap right there on the Miss Renault and Milner Irvin, having some engine problems, but nonetheless, they put in a remarkable showing here this afternoon. Hanauer and the Atlas blinding us by the sun as he goes behind the island down there. Chip Hanauer, who won this race a year ago right here in Mission Bay. Should he hold on to win here, it would be his third win of the season in the Atlas Van Lines boat and for the Atlas Van Lines company here on Bill Muncy's home race course. Stay with us on ESPN because the cameramen have really got their work cut out for them. They have to take a shot into a blinding sun down that back shoot into corner number three and we'll lose him periodically but that's all that can be done mother nature here it comes complete lap number three two more laps to go atlas van lines the hometown boat with Chad from seattle trying to hang on to win his fourth race of the 1983 campaign at pole within 169 points of jim Crockfield and bernie little smith budweiser with one more race to go that at houston texas the budweiser world cup in October.
10-hour speed there, 131.965. He's put his foot back into it. Here's Milner, Irvin, and the Miss Renault. There you see Jack Schaefer, the American Speedy, running behind him. He's, he's lost, lost his, tail. his whole wing section, Jim. It's and if he goes by here, it's flapping up and down. He's lost the wing section of that boat. I don't know what's going to happen here because that will affect the aerodynamic stability of an unlimited hydroplane. And he's slowing down now, Sam, as he's back in the corner number one as our leader comes down the back chute and he'll come around to take the green flag. When he does, it'll be, whoop, one more second to go. One more left to go, rather. And right now, he bounces through some slop, and I saw that left spots and raise up and saw the bottom of the boat. But now he's in the apex of corners number three and four, coming out of the sunlight, heading down here as the green flag is waiting. Whoa, he's still flying light, Sam. Still flying light and really, really, really going. Here's the green flag along with the yellow flag. The yellow flag is because of the American Speedy printing down in corner number one, sitting dead in the water. There's our second place boat, this Budweiser, with about five seconds behind. Jim, and his hand hours on his final lap. Let's remind the viewers at home, as they see the shots across the race course, this blinding sun. Remember, that's affecting these gentlemen on the race course because they are driving into that sun at speeds of 165 and 170 miles an hour. Hand hour up to speed on that lap, 132, 159. Here's our third place boat, Tom De East, in the Squire shop. He returns to the seat of that cockpit and putting in a remarkable performance here today in third place aboard Bob Stiles' boat. As I said, hand hour up to speed, back up to one. 32.1 on that lap, and here he goes into the turn, Jim. He goes into the turn with the checker flag waiting. He has less than half a lap to go. He'll pull within 169 points for the National High Point Championship with one race to go. It's going to be the Athens Van Lines with Chip Hanauer. Coming out of corner number four, the rooster tail rises, riding beautifully. The checker flag is waiting. As he comes in, he waves and takes the checker flag and a victory for the Atlas Van Lines. Second place will have to go to Budweiser. Third place to Spire. Here's your second place boat, Budweiser. Overall, the San Diego Regatta here. There you see the checkered flag. Hanauer speed on his last lap, 129.683. What a barn burner it was. His average speed, Jim, a new record here in San Diego. He waves his arm triumphantly in the air. His average speed, 131.540 miles an hour, eclipsing the old mark set by Bill Muncy in the Atlas Van Lines in 1980. His heat record speed was 126.796. Here comes a third place finish for Tommy D. Fairhaven, Michigan, in Bob Styles Squire. All right, the final order finish, Sam, if you will. Our winner will be Chip Hanauer in the Atlas Van Lines. Second place, the Miss Budweiser and Jim Kropfeld. In third, it'll be Tom DeEat and the Squire Shop. In fourth, it'll be Ron Armstrong, as you see him here in the specialty leasing. Fifth place will go to the Sreno and Milner Irvin. As you see Armstrong, he's lost a turbocharger. Nothing to worry about there. The race is over. He just finished to take his fourth. And in sixth, it'll be Jack Schaefer and the American Speedy Printing.